This hour is brought to you by the Genesis Communications Network, the nation's leader in independently owned and operated talk radio since 1998. Visit GCNlive.com today. Here's the one person that can make you feel fine, even if it is the end of the world. Barb Adams. All right. Welcome back. You are listening to America Now. Barb Adams here live with you. Thanks for listening into this hour of the show. Well, have you ever stared into a mirror and wondered how you got here? Or wondered whether God selected this life for you? Or if the universe just assigned it to you by chance? And what happens when we die? Will you merely cease to exist or will you go to heaven or hell? Wouldn't it be great to know the answers? Well, listen in. Because my guest this hour, Garnett Schulhauser, joins me to share the revelations he received in answer to these questions and more. He received them from a homeless man named Albert, who turned out to be one of his own spirit guides. Garnett's written a powerful book entitled Dancing on a Stamp, Startling Revelations from the Other Side. Garnett Schulhauser practiced corporate law with two large law firms in Calgary, Canada for 34 years years before retiring. His life changed dramatically in 2007, however, when he was confronted on the street by a homeless man named Albert. You can get a lot more information about Garnett and Dancing on a Stamp by visiting his website, dancingonastamp.com. If you'd like to call in to ask a question, the number 800-259-5791. Again, 800-259-5791. Welcome to the show, Garnett. Hi, Barb. How are you tonight? I am very well. And yourself? I'm just doing great. And and thank you for inviting me on your show. Well, thank you as well for joining me tonight. Garnett, give us a bit of background about how all of this began. Well, I was, uh, as you said in your introduction, I was practicing law, corporate law in, in, in Calgary at the time. Um, and I decided to go for a stroll one sunny afternoon on a Monday in May in 2007, uh, which I often did, you know, in the middle of the afternoon when the cobwebs start creeping into your mind, and I thought I'd get some fresh air. So I started strolling down the, the, the street in front of our, my office building, and things were sort of normal until suddenly, uh, out of nowhere, this homeless man just jumped out in front of me, um, and, and he basically stopped me in my tracks. Now... I had seen homeless men on the street before, homeless people, and my usual tactic was just to do a quick sidestep and go around them. Um, but, but this man, who, who looked like a typical homeless man, I mean, he had, he had stringy hair and uh, scraggly beard and dirty slept in clothes, and he, he, he looked very much the part, but there was something very different about him, Barb. Um, and, and, and that's what sort of held me standing there in front of me instead of going around him. He had amazing, sparkling, uh, radiant blue eyes, that, that we're doing sort of two things at the same time. The first was that his gaze was sort of penetrating deeply into my, into my very being, down to the depths of my soul. And I felt somehow that this man knew everything about me. He knew everything I'd ever done in my life, everything I'd ever said uh, or actions I'd taken, and he knew my deepest and darkest secrets. And so I was sort of feeling a bit uh, naked and exposed to this guy, uh, uh, but I didn't turn tail and run because at the same time, his eyes were sending me this amazing gush of, of warm, unconditional love that was infusing my whole body with a, an amazing feeling of peace and security. It was a feeling I'd never had before. It was really quite amazing. So I was standing there like a deer caught in the headlights. Um, and. I could have just, it was like a time warp. I, I, I don't know how long I was there. And uh, my reverie was broken when he, when this homeless man suddenly said to me, well, why are you here? And so he just turned tail and, and, and quickly uh, ducked into a nearby store. And when I finally collected my wits, I decided I should go and find this guy. 
So I went into the store to try to find him, and, but, but he was nowhere to be seen. There was only one entrance to the store. He hadn't come out, um, and, and he was nowhere inside. And I walked out back in the street and walked up and down the, the, the block a few times trying to find him, but, but he had just disappeared. So I walked back to my office with my head sort of in, in a swirl trying to figure out what had just happened, who was this guy, and how did he give me this amazing feeling of peace and security. So that night I resolved that I really had to go back the next day and try to find him. So I did. Same time, the next day, next afternoon, I went back to the same street, walked up and down, and uh, when I was about to lose hope after about 25 minutes of doing this, I suddenly saw him sitting on a bench by himself. So I walked up to him and I said to him, like, who are you and why did you stop me the other day? And he gave me a big smile and he said, I'm a soul just like you and I'm here to help you on your journey and to answer your questions. And then my lawyer brain kind of kicked in and I became a bit skeptical and I, and I said to him, well, you're, you're trying to help me but it doesn't look like you could even help yourself because it looks like you've been sleeping on the street for weeks and you smell like a dead fish. And, and he just gave me a big smile and he said, you know, he said, he said, you know, Garnet, looks can be deceiving. He said, you look like you're a, a, a successful corporate lawyer with everything under control, but we both know that's just a facade. He said, you can go back to your office and see if you can find your answers in all those emails waiting for you on your computer, or you can sit down and have a chat with me. What do you have to lose? Thankfully, my tuition kicked in, and I, and I thought, yeah, what do I have to lose if I spend a half an hour with this guy, and he turns out to be just a bum as, as he looks? No big deal. So I sat down, and our conversation began, and that, and, and that was the beginning of our conversations, which lasted for several months after that, uh, and uh, it was just sort of an amazing change in my life because he, as he let me know sort of early on in the conversations, he was really one of my spirit guides, and he had just appeared in the, in the guise of a homeless man to get my attention, uh, which he did, for sure. Um, but anyway, our conversations went on for, as I said, for several months. He was a, a very wise, witty spirit who, uh, uh, who had lots of revelations for me and for everyone else, actually. Uh, and he answered all the big questions in life that I've been asking myself for many years. Like, as you mentioned at the beginning, Barb, you know, like, who am I? Who put me here? Was it, did God, you know, put me on this, in this life or was it a random act of the universe? And what happens when I die? Do I just disappear into nothingness or do I go to heaven or to hell? Does somebody judge me? You know, what's my purpose in life? And Albert answered all those questions very, Truthfully, um, in a way that I just felt in my heart that, that he was giving me the right answers, um, and so it was a, an amazing conversation. And he was—he was actually, he didn't preach to me. He—he he, he wasn't a sort of a holier than thou kind of guy. Uh, and we chatted basically like we were having two friends chatting over a beer. So it was really quite an amazing experience for me, and really a life-changing event for me. So at what point did you really come to understand, we're going to be, uh, you know, talking here for just a short while before we go to a break, but w at what point did you come to understand who Albert really was? And did he tell you his name, or did you somehow know it? No, he told me his name, and it was in our first conversation, and he said that his name, I, I, I basically asked him, who are you? And he said, well, my name is Albert, and he said, I'm actually one of your spirit guides, and and. Before that, I wasn't even aware I had any spirit guides, but, but, but he said that he came in this disguise to get my attention. Um, after the first three visits, uh, he no longer appeared as a flesh and bones homeless man, but he was a voice in my head, and we spoke by telepathy. And, and he said that he appeared as a homeless man just to ease me into the conversation because if he had just started talking to me as a voice in my head, I would likely would have thought I was losing my marbles. So... It was his way of easing me into the, into the conversation. And he told me I was the only one who could see him as the homeless man. So if wow. anyone else had walked by the bench that day on the street, they would have seen me sitting there by myself. Well, you would have been amazing. talking to Harvey at that point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we will continue this discussion on Dancing on a Stand after the break here on America Now. We 
all have our own idea about what being safe and secure means. The door is locked, bills are paid, you've got a job that keeps the lights on, and a home to call your own. But what happens when Mother Nature throws a curveball? Yes, are you prepared to live without electricity or passable roads for weeks at a time? Do you even have a plan B? If you do, are you willing to bet your life on it? Children left with no homes. And no one's coming to help them. Help the first step towards self-reliance in the face of disaster is a visit to MyPatriotSupply.com. There you'll find the absolute best prices on storable foods, non-GMO seeds, emergency water filtration devices, and so much more. All orders over $49 qualify for free shipping in the lower 48 states. Call 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. And speak to one of our preparedness advisors today or visit us at mypatriotsupply.com remember before it's time to survive it's time to prepare don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and Installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1 855 905 My TV. 1 855 905 My TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1 855 905 My TV. 1 855 905 My TV. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Many Americans suffer from digestive problems, often totally unaware they're not absorbing essential nutrients from foods and supplements. Dr. Peter Glidden is aware of the importance of healing a damaged digestive system. Now, the product that I'm going to talk about today, Mackey Plus, and it is a combination of a superfruit, the Mackey Berry, and aloe vera juice. Now, aloe vera is a very interesting nutritional supplement to talk about because aloe vera, you know, it's the stuff that you put on your skin if you get a burn. And, man, it really knocks down the pain, the inflammation of the burn and facilitates healing. Well, guess what? It does the same thing internally that it does externally to burns. To soothe and heal your digestive system, order Mackey Plus today by calling 855-347-3696. That's 855-347-3696 or on the web at fireyourmdnow.com. That's fireyourmdnow.com. You're listening to GCN, proudly sponsored by UnseenNow.com. Lock down your digital life at UnseenNow.com. This is GCN. Live here with you on America Now. I'm speaking with Garnett Schulhauser. We are discussing his book, Dancing on a Stamp. Garnett, did Albert ever reveal why you were chosen at that particular time to be the messenger of his teachings? 
Yeah, he, I asked him that question, Barb. He said that, that this was all planned before I was born. And like, like, like for all of us, before we were incarnated into our lives on Earth, we all prepare a life plan and we sort of set out the, the major circumstances of our lives. And he was sort of certainly part of that planning. And it, it was intended that, uh, that he would appear before me you know, on the street that day before I was born, even though I didn't remember any of it because we, we're not allowed to remember what we put in our life plans. And so, and he, and he chose me because uh, I, I had some previous lives um, uh, in, in sort of the writing field, and, and uh, he and the, and the other people who helped us plan our life plans decided that I could be one of his messengers. And so it was planned beforehand. Um, and uh, he, he appeared to, before me to answer my questions, but he also wanted me to uh, propagate his messages to, to everyone else. And uh, so early on, he had told me that, uh, you know, one of the reasons he was there was to uh, to get me to write a book, uh, not just one book. He said I was going to write at least three or four books. And so so I take it there are other books in the offering then? Oh, absolutely. I've, I've, my second book is called uh, Dancing Forever with Spirit, uh, which will be published, uh, released probably in the next uh, two or three months by my publisher, Ozark Mountain Publishing. And, I'm, and, and in fact, I'm just putting the finishing touches on my third book, which I haven't submitted to my publisher yet. So, uh, yeah, I'm well on the road. Um, and Albert gives me lots of ammunition. Um, and he's a great, uh, he's, he's a great sort of a spirit to, uh, to deal with. Uh, he has, uh, he, he's very wise, uh, very witty, and he has a lot of things to tell tell humanity and, 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 and so his, his mission was to contact me ask me to be one of his messengers which I agreed to reluctantly I mean at first I was sort of taken aback like I'd never written a book before so why are you asking me um, but, but he, of course he knew it was all planned beforehand and I, would, I just didn't recall that just as, as, as none of us can recall what, what, what happened before we were born uh, but it was all planned beforehand um, and uh, it just all sort of unfolded from there it was uh, it, it was uh, a great experience for me, and uh, once I sort of got my head into uh, sort of coming out of the spiritual closet, as one of my fellow authors said, um, you know, I had to struggle with that because I was at a very straight-laced law firm, and I never had, I never spoke about spirituality or any of these things, and, and, and I was a bit concerned about what people would think of me, my family, my friends, my former colleagues. So it was a bit of a struggle for me to sort of get past that, but once I did, now it's out in the open, and it's fine, and I'm very happy with it. And Albert continues to give me uh, more and more revelations, and I do my best to try to write them as best I can so everyone else can, can share in his uh, wisdom. You know, I want to get to some of those revelations here, Gannett. But first, Dancing on a Stamp, the title, what's it mean? Well, it, it's very interesting because uh, I was, at one point during our conversations, I was whining about something or other that I didn't like in my life. Uh, and, and, and so he gave me this metaphor, and, and, and Albert said, you know what? Your problem is, he said, he said, your life on this planet is like a, it's like you're in a big grand ballroom, um, you know, where, you, where there's uh, people all around you and the band is playing fantastic dance music and everyone around you is up swirling and dancing and spinning around the whole ballroom, but you're standing there on one spot like you have leg shackles on and he said, I have to quit dancing on a stamp and that's where the... So that's what he told me and, 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 and that, that, that phrase kept on sticking in my mind and when I was looking for a title for my first book um, I thought that's, that's probably a good title and when I asked him he said yeah go for it that's a good title for your book so it, it was sort of a, his admonishment to me that I need to get out and break out of my shell and quit dancing on a stamp let's talk about some of the revelations now Garnett why are we here what did Albert tell you well, every one of us, you and I, uh, Barb, and all your listeners, we're all souls who came from the spirit side. We're here on earth having a journey in a human body. And we came here because we wanted to experience things and learn things uh, to help us evolve as souls. Uh, because the, the, the dense planes that earth is on has some things that just don't exist on the spirit side. Spirit side, of course, is a wonderful place. Some people call it heaven, uh, you know, the other side, home, whatever you want. It's, it's a wonderful place with no negativity at all. And in order to sort of experience things that, that don't exist there, we, we, we decide that we should incarnate on the dense planes like Earth uh, into a human body and, and, and so, so that we can accumulate wisdom and help our evolution. 
And so that's where we came here. We came here to learn and experience things. And we planned it all. No one forced us to come here. Um, we decided as schools on the other side that this would be a good thing to do. And we sort of planned out what we hoped to experience. And then we incarnated. The problem is, is that Earth is a very tough school. And it's tough because we're not allowed to remember what we put in our life plans or where we came from before. And yet we have free will to make actions and uh, take decisions. Um, and so we, we sort of flounder along blindly, um, not knowing what we're supposed to be doing, even though before we came here we had a very specific purpose in mind. And, 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 and because of the free will, we often go way off course. Um, and, but, but that's okay because it, it, no matter what we do, as Albert says, you, we can never go wrong or become lost because we always end up back on the spirit side. And if we don't learn something in this life that we wanted to or experience something, we can always come back as many times as we want. If we come here to evolve individual, then are we also not helping the entire collective conscious evolve as well? What did Albert have to say on that? Oh, oh, oh absolutely. I mean, we're all sort of, uh, I mean, we're all souls here incarnating as humans. And, and, and we're, we're trying to help at this stage, we're trying to help humans, humanity, uh, grow and evolve as, as physical beings on this dense plane as well. And, 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 and the goal for us is to try to uh, help everyone, ourselves and everyone else, to increase our vibratory rates, um, expand our consciousness, and move up to a higher level. And that's, that's why we're all here. We don't realize that, but we're, trying, we're, we're actually trying to help everyone else uh, you know, move up the evolutionary ladder. Um, and the, the trick is for us, for, for humanity at this stage in our civilization, is that uh, we need to do that before things get out of control and we destroy ourselves like a number of other civilizations on Earth have before, like Lemuria and Atlantis and mm -hmm. a number of other ones that, that we're not even aware of. So, yeah, we're, we're here to help humanity. We're here to help ourselves. Uh, we're here to help uh, others in our soul group who we deal with, you know, on a regular basis because we all travel in groups. And so people in your life, Barb, you know, your parents, uh, your spouse, children, friends, whatever, chances are you've been traveling together with them through many lifetimes, and, and you, you keep on changing roles and, and shifting so that so somebody who is your father in this, this life may have been your sister in another life and so on. Yep. So we, we try to work together, and we're all trying to help, help humanity um, move up the... the is the road to enlightenment. All right, we will continue this discussion on Dancing on a Stamp after the break. Stay with us. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. If you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, ProFlowers.com is the key. ProFlowers has stunning bouquets, like the best-selling 100 blooms for $19.99. Plus, ProFlowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the field is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. Plus, all bouquets from Pro Flowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. To get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99, go to ProFlowers.com. Click the blue microphone in the top right corner and enter code PLOW. 
That's proflowers.com. Click the mic and enter code PLOW. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract, paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise, can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of HB extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. I will never forget the day my son Jeremy told me he hated me and slammed the door in my face. I'm behavioral therapist Janet Lehman. Behavior problems can turn the child you love and your life into a nightmare. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the step-by-step program that shows you how to fix the worst behavior problems and get your child to respect and listen to you again. No matter what the behavior, defiance, backtalk, angry outbursts, disrespect, we can help you stop it. Now you can get the total transformation for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. You can keep it forever for free. Limited number of free programs available. Call now. 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. That's 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We are the premier independent talk radio network. We are GCN. Given to my guest this hour, Garnett Schulhauser, that he's put in a book, Dancing on a Stamp. Garnett, um, you know, we were talking about these revelations, and you had mentioned about after we die, we go back to the spirit side, where we get to, you know, meet up with those that we have in our soul circles, and we plan for the future. You know, but I think a lot of people are still focused on heaven and hell. You know, what did Albert say about heaven and hell? And also, can we incarnate elsewhere and as other beings? Uh, uh, yes, for sure. Let me answer the first question first. Um, heaven does exist. I mean, heaven is the spirit side. You can call it that. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's a very pleasant place, blissful, full of uh, love and harmony and peace. Uh, where we That's really our home. That's, that's our true home bar. Uh, hell, hell doesn't exist. Uh, Albert said that hell was just invented by uh, by some of the organized religions as a means to control their congregation, their people through fear and guilt. Um, and so he said it's just an invention, um, doesn't exist. Uh, everyone goes back to the spirit side when they die, which means even the terrorists and the murderers and the serial killers, they all go back to the spirit side which may seem unjust to some people, but that's just the way it works because there is no other place to go. When you leave here, you go back to the spirit side, you go through a life review to, 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 to see what you, do, what you did in your life, the good things and the bad things, then you plan your next incarnation if you're so inclined to go back. Uh, so uh, there is no hell. And, 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 and uh, not only that, but, but God or the source does not make rules for us to follow when we're on earth. Despite what the religions say, they all say that God wants you to do this, that, and the other thing. Uh, and if you don't, uh, you're going to pay the penalty. Well, the source doesn't make rules for us to follow, and, and the source does not judge us when we, when we die. We don't appear before God who's sitting in a, 
in a gold throne in the sky somewhere where, where, where he will look at what we've done and say, okay, fine, you've been a good person, you can go to heaven, you've been bad, you can go to hell. That doesn't happen because there is no judgment. The only people who will judge what you've done on earth is yourself. When you, when you go, have your life review after you finish the life, you, you go back over it and look at it and say, oh, okay, well, I, I sort of messed up there and, and uh, um, I wish I could have done better, but next life I will try. So, so there is no rules set by, by source um, and there is no hell. So we all go back to the same place. And yes, we can incarnate into other uh, life forms. We can incarnate into animals on this planet, Barb, and we can incarnate into any of the millions of other life forms yep. on all the different planets in the in the galaxy in the universe, uh, and we can choose that ourselves. We can we can decide where we want to go, and we can just go ahead and and, uh, and incarnate. And so, uh, given the fact that that Earth is such a tough school, it's very likely, Barb, that most of us who are here now have probably had other incarnations on other planets uh, that are that have much easier lives than than humans. I mean, a human life is is a pretty tough. Uh, a uh, uh, pretty tough uh, life to, to have to, to endure uh, compared to some of the other lives on other planets. Uh, and so we're all, as, as Albert told me several times, he said, everyone here should pat themselves on the back because we're very brave and courageous to come <laughs> into this tough school. So we are. congratulations, Barb. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. We made it back here. And uh, hopefully, you know, as we're talking about, you know, those that remember and are awakening and understand what's going on and are trying to help others awaken, you know, we're here now. And as you mentioned, we're coming from all over. A lot of light beings at this time. More and more people are awakening and remembering who they are, who they were. And it's a, it's a neat time to be alive here on Earth. Yeah, it is indeed. And in fact, w- 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 what you mentioned is, is, a, uh, is something that Albert had also touched on. As he said, uh, we're sort of a humanity sort of in a crucial sort of crossroads right now. And so more and more um, sort of highly evolved souls, advanced souls are incarnating on Earth. And there's a big push on now to help humanity get over get over this hump and, and, and try to dispel all the negativity, get rid of the violence, and, and have more and more people embrace the light, embrace love and compassion, uh, because that's what's needed to get humanity you know, to, to, to the next step. And, and there's a danger if that doesn't happen that, we, as I said before, we could just all perish. So there's a lot of very enlightened beings that have been incarnate, incarnating in the last while, um, and, and uh, there's more and more people becoming, as you say, aware of sort of who we are, and, and there's more and more messages being sent from, from the spirit side. You know, like Albert, he sends me messages. Uh, I'm just one of his messengers. He's, he's got all kinds of channels all over the world, and, and so do a number of other very wise spirits, um, and they're channeling information to, uh, uh, you know, people in every country, and, and the goal is to try to have those people uh, become enlightened and then spread the word to other people around us so that we can... We, we can take the next step up the evolutionary ladder. So it's a very exciting time. Um, and, and uh, uh, you know, Albert said we have a ways to go, but he's very confident that we can uh, we can do it. Yep, we can do it, I believe so as well. You know, those spirit guides, too, they are always with us, and we need to really remain open and just allow, you know, when we get these intuitions and voices like when you first met albert you know you, you had this feeling oh, i need to run away but something within you told you don't stay there listen it's very interesting isn't it because we need to really realize we've always got source with us we've always got the spirit guides with us guiding us that's very true, and, 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 and the problem is that, that there's so many people who don't realize that they have spirit guides um, and, but everyone has at least two or three, Albert said, and they actually do change from time to time as your life progresses because the, the, the kind of coaching that you need when you're a teenager isn't the same as this coaching as you need when you're retired. So they do shuffle around and change, and, and they're always there to help us. I mean, they're just basically our 24-hour coaches, and they're always sending us messages. And the trouble is most of us don't always hear those because our minds are so cluttered with you know, we have 50,000 thoughts going through our head every day, and it's hard to sort of decipher and pick out the ones that are coming from our spirit guide and recognize them for what they are and then acting on them. And so it's really a question of trying to slow our minds down through meditation uh, so that we can uh, 
forget about what happened yesterday or what's going to happen tomorrow and live in the now. And then when we can do that, those messages will start to come in and, and be clearer. But we all have them, and, we, and, and for the most part, we don't recognize them. Like if you get a, a sudden uh, a flash of a, a brilliant thought in your mind, Barb, it's easy to think, well, I came up with this myself. Chances are, though, most of the time it came from one of your guides. Yep. And, so, and so you just have to sort of recognize them for what they are and then, and then try to make sure that your mind doesn't try to rationalize them away because your mind has sort of a pardon the pun, your mind has a mind of its own. And it wants to do things that it wants to do. And, and if, if these flashes of intuition, these thoughts are contrary to the desires of your mind, uh, it, you will try to, you know, just dismiss them, uh, ignore them, or whatever. So you have to sort of have this constant battle uh, with, with your mind so that you can listen to the messages, hear them, and act on them. And because they're coming all the time. And, 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 and the more that you can hear the messages, the, the, the more they will come and the clearer they will be. Which is not an easy task, but it's it's something that we all have to strive to uh, try to accomplish. Yeah, it's making that journey from the mind to the heart, because therein is where source and where the truth lies within us. In the heart, if we open up the heart and we embrace love and hope and forgiveness, all of these things, we can really live as we are meant to live here, you know. In touch, we are all divine sparks. All right, we're going to be heading to another break. When we return... More from Garnett Schulhauser on Dancing on a Stamp. at web.com want to build your business a successful website for free just like we did for these current web.com customers we've used and and looked at other website designers but there's nobody better than web.com web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free plus we'll promote it on all the major search engines like google yahoo and bing if after 30 days you're happy we'll continue to provide promotion hosting support and maintenance all for one low monthly fee If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Quantitative easing, unemployment at depression levels, Europe financial system falling apart, China getting out of U.S. treasuries. At the end of 2008, the time of TARP, the national debt was at 11 trillion gold, trading around $850 per ounce. Close to 2012, the national debt exceeded 16.4 trillion, gold doubled to $1,600 per ounce. The 20 trillion threshold for the national debt is inevitable. Politicians in Washington have a ferocious appetite for spending and stimulus. What's worse, a printing press to finance. A hundred years ago, we had a gold standard to limit this madness, but now you have to adopt your own gold standard. Don't be fooled with paper promises. Get Midas Resources 10 Reasons to Buy Gold free by calling 800-686-2237. Understanding the gold and silver market may be the only insurance you could have to avoiding the next economic crisis. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order your free copy. Again, that's 800-686-2237. At 30dayfoodsupply.com, you can now purchase a -a one-of-a-kind product not available anywhere else, a meatless burger dry mix in four delicious flavors. With our new Oregon Trail Foods vegan burgers, all you do is add water and fry. They need no refrigeration. They're packaged in Mylar bags with an oxygen absorber for a long shelf life. They're non-GMO. They're gluten, soy, nut, and chemical-free, but they're loaded with flavor. And a good source of carbs and protein, yet low in sodium. Flavors include Italian, spicy Mexican, 
chicken, six vegetable, and black bean olive. Go to 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010 and order today. Eat them every day. Take them camping or save them for an emergency. Check them out at 30dayfoodsupply.com and click on the vegan burger icon. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where all of our products are produced in Oregon by Oregon Trail Foods. 30dayfoodsupply.com For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. UnseenNow.com, proud sponsor of GCN. Unseen Now's unparalleled encryption tools keep your communications secure. GCN. All right, I'm speaking with Garnett Schulhauser tonight here on America Now. His book, Dancing on a Stamp. And Garnett, you know, one of the things I'm thinking about, you know, all these revelations that you've been sharing tonight that Albert gave you. Did you ever get any answers, though, about your own life and what's to come next for you from Albert? No, actually, Barb, and I did try to press Albert for that. He said that... Uh, his role with me wasn't to give me, um, you know, uh, answers about my own life. He said that, that he was there just to give me revelations that I was to, to, to propagate in my books. And I was, to, in terms of my own personal life, he said I would have to struggle like everyone else on this planet and try to discern the messages from my other guides uh, and, and, and try to, uh, you know, you know, find my find my path just like everyone else. And so he was going to make it easy for me. He said he could, but he wasn't going to do that. And in fact, he said. If he told me what I was supposed to do and gave me every detail, um, I'd be wasted of wasting the rest of my life. And when I got back to the spirit side, I would probably uh, chide him for doing so. So he wasn't going to do that. So his role was just to give me revelations that were available to everyone, but nothing specific about my personal life. Well, yeah, how else would you really learn then? You know, if, exactly. if you know, yeah, exactly. So what was the most startling revelation to you? Well, he, he told me, and, and, and this surprised me, he said that no one on earth dies by accident. So despite the fact that we all know that people die in car crashes on the freeway or in train wrecks or a plane goes down and a bunch of people die, he says that's not an accident. None of that happens. He said our souls decide when it's time to exit the incarnation. And they have the ultimate right to, to pick the, the date and the time and the method of, of, of having their physical bodies die which seems a bit strange because we all know that there's so many accidental deaths going on. But he said, no, our souls choose that, um, and uh, that's, that's, a, that, that's a right that they have. And, of course, our souls don't tell our human minds what they have in, planned, uh, in mind. So, of course, we don't know uh, what our souls have planned. But uh, when the soul is ready to go, they will pick one of the exit points that they've probably put into the life plan uh, before you were born. Um, and they can choose as, they, as you go along which exit point they want to take, um, and they can actually actually change the exit points as you go, but it's the soul's absolute right to pick the, 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 the time to leave. And, and then, so I, I was surprised at this, and I said, well, 
how, how can you sort of prevent an accidental death when um, I have my free will and I don't know what's in my life plan and so does everyone around me? I mean, how can you sort of prevent this clash of free wills from somehow not causing a, an untimely death? And he says, oh, yeah, but we have these other special spirits that watch over us, our guardian angels, and they're there to make sure that the events in our lives don't cause an untimely death and they can actually physically intervene to, 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 to stop things happening that would that, that would lead to our deaths before our soul are ready to go. So it's all sort of a very interesting uh, a scenario uh, which seems to work very well. Uh, but anyway, I just I was really quite surprised because I thought, well, you know, someone who gets uh, banged up on the freeway and dies has to be an accident. But according to Albert, no, it was an exit point planned by your soul. And again, you know, NDEs, near-death experiences, and, and I've had one, and, and there have been times when I was almost, you know, I've had a gun put to my head. There were times when that exit point couldn't happen, but obviously something else was supposed to happen in my life. There was a reason I had to stay around, and I'm sure most people, when you look at your life, you can go back and think about, wow, all these you know, opportunities, if you will, when soul could have chosen at that point to exit, but it didn't. So, you know, it's, it is interesting what you're talking about because we wonder why we have all these instances, you know, with near-death experiences and people coming back or a lot of people exiting at a certain time. Talk about that a little bit. What did Albert say about that? Because it seems like right now a lot of people seem to be exiting in, in vast numbers. What's, his, what's going on there? Are they exiting? so that they can get back to spirit side, remember what the plan is so we can get back here and help move the consciousness of this planet forward so we don't destroy ourselves? Yeah, it, 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 for the most part, I mean, our, our, our souls really know what, 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 what they want to do and what they want to accomplish. And so they choose an exit point based upon, okay, uh, what else do I have in my life plan that I want to experience? Um, or is my human body so far off course that I don't think we ever get back on track? So maybe I should just exit, go back to the spirit side, regroup, and come back again. And so there's a number of different reasons that souls will, will choose to exit. And, uh, you know, and when 300 people die in a plane crash, um, you know, it, it may seem like an accident, but all those souls have decided that that was a good place to exit, and they all have their own reason. And it's not necessarily the same reason, but they all have their own reason for deciding to exit at that point. You know, the people who have near-death experience, we all read about those, um, you know, and, and, and in a lot of cases they, they go to the, they, they see, you know, loved ones that have already passed over, and it's very pleasant that they wish they could stay there, and then somebody says to them, no, you've got to go back because you have unfinished business, and that's because, uh, yeah, they, they, there's other things that they have to experience, uh, and they have things to accomplish yet in this life, and uh, it's not their time to cross over. So, um, you know, there's various reasons for, for, for picking the exit point, but um, you, you have to trust that your soul knows what is best for you, and you just have to go with it. Can you give us a little bit briefly about what Albert talks about with karma and the illusion of time? Well, first of all, the, uh, the answer about the time, um, the, 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 the linear time on Earth is just an illusion. Because on the spirit side and everywhere else, uh, linear time doesn't exist. So there is no past, there is no uh, future. It's all one big now. And we're just used to linear time on Earth. Um, and, and it was set up deliberately so that we could uh, appreciate the, uh, the consequences when you start an action and when the action is finished. So it's sort of like we're living in slow motion here uh, so that we can, uh, we can sort of appreciate and understand and, uh, and, and, and uh, come to appreciate what our actions have done here on Earth. But on the spirit side, there is no linear time, so there's no past or future. It's all one big now, which is really hard for us humans and our minds to grasp that, but it's something that we, we can obviously uh, easily understand when we're back there. In terms of karma, he said it's not an uh, immutable law of the universe like gravity. He says it's a, it's a way of measuring sort of the pluses and minuses of our lives on Earth. Um, and, and so when we finish a life, we can look back at it and say, okay, well, I've had these things I did were, were pretty good and these were bad. And so you end up with sort of a you know, positive or negative. But he says we're not forced to keep on coming back and back to Earth uh, to clean off our karmic debt. 
He says, we all, most of us want to do that because we don't want to sort of leave a death behind. But if we ultimately say, well, I, I'm tired of this planet and I don't want to, I can't do it anymore, then we can quit even if we have a, a negative karmic deck. So it, it's a, it, it's a way of sort of a, it's, it's keeping score of, of how, how we do in our lives on Earth. Um, nothing more. We've got a little bit of time left here, Gunnar. Can you share some final thoughts? And as well, please tell the listeners where they can get your book and any more information that you'd like to share. Uh, yeah, the, 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 there are buy links on my website, which is dancingonastamp.com. Uh, and all sort of all the uh, online stores. Uh, there's a lot of bricks and mortar stores that have it. But if your favorite store does not, they can certainly order it. Um, and uh, uh, also on my website, there's uh, links to my Facebook page and my YouTube page. And on YouTube, I have the recordings of all of my radio shows and my uh, my talk at the Transformation Conference. So that that helps. And plus, there's also a, a book trailer for Dancing on a Staff. And very soon, my second book will be coming out, Dancing Forever with Spirit. And that's very interesting because it is. Um, Albert comes to me this time um, in, in the dead of night in my bedroom, and he takes me, he pulls me, my, my astral body out of my physical body and takes me on trips around to different parts of the world, the universe, to the spirit side, and, and, and every, every trek that we go on, he's got a, a lesson for me to learn, which I describe in Dancing Forever with Spirit. So um, it, it, it's, it's actually quite exciting, uh, some, some new revelations, and uh, that book should be coming out uh, early in the new year. All right. So very, very, very quickly, obviously you're still in contact with Albert in the physical. Did he show up in the physical again? Or? No, he shows up as, a, as, a, as an astral body. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's that's how he shows up in, in Dancing Forever Spirit. And, in fact, my third book is based on more adventures with Albert. Uh, mm-hmm. But it's really quite fascinating and, uh, and, and uh, uh, it's just amazing some of the things I saw with Albert. Uh, in every place he took me, uh, there was a message there for me and for humanity. All right, Gernot, thank you very much for joining me this evening. All right, everybody, dancing on a stamp. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a block at Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. With autumn in the air, it's time to think about getting ready for winter. And it's time to save at HerbalHealer.com. You'll find amazing seasonal savings to prepare you for the fight against cold and flu season. Like Oregacillin to promote lung health. 30 capsules, regularly $34.95, now only $25. HHA Olive Leaf, the natural antiviral, normally $16.95, now 60 capsules are just $12. HHA Elderberry Power, a great flu and virus fighter, regularly $16.95, 60 capsules. Now $10. Save on all our homeopathic detoxes. Choose from lungs, kidney, liver, brain, libido, or whole body. Normally $26.95, now just $20. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click on the Fall Winter Specials button to save on all our natural cold and flu-fighting products. Also explore our Herbal Healer Academy correspondence courses that teach you how to handle your health naturally. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. 